For those of you that live in the United States, which is about 33% of you all right now, what the hell, ladies? You can shoot me all you want. But that is my opinion. Because, well, there are no visuals. It is literally nine minutes of a white screen, and we can't see a single thing except for Spencer's face. Even when there's a single tiny dot of oil on his buffers, he zips off to the washdown. But when comparing a screenshot from season 22 to season 21, to me, it's like using Train Simulator 2019 for your Thomas Trains videos, but then for the next video, you use Trains 2006. Everything went downhill, and the hill went steeper and steeper with every new season, until eventually, the hill was at a 90 degree angle, and everything came crashing down to the ground. We'll talk about this later. Wait, why does that voice sound kind of familiar? Kathleen Barr? The things these actors and actresses do just to get a check these days. Speaking of the voices, the new voice actors they chose for the series is... quite the interesting cast. Let's see, we've got... Richard Ian Cox, Ian James Corlett, Jacob Scipio, Steve Kineman... Oh, of course... Joanne Froget, Lee Ingleby... Uh, wait a minute... Vincent Tong? Blake Harrison? Claire Corlett? I, I'm sorry, am I seeing things right now? Hey, wait a minute, Arthur hasn't even been introduced yet, in the way these episodes are ordered on the DVD, or in the show. WHY CAN'T YOU BE CONSISTENT ANYMORE?! And who was complaining about the lack of female characters in the show? Nobody! And besides, they were already introducing at least one female character every year, so what was really the point? I really hope that is mud. Misty Island, Thomas is missing. Misty Island, we must find Thomas. Misty Island, okay sir. Misty Island, the fat controller with Captain. Misty Island, the tongue has been boarded up for years sir. Misty Island, keep looking. Misty Island, yes sir. Misty Island, how come he hasn't been traumatized by what he had been through? I mean, right in the middle of a burning blaze in a collapsing building with no way to escape at all. I would have been scarred for life at that moment. Michael Jackson is better than Ed, the most underrated person on the entire planet. His music is nowhere near as great as everyone says it is. Can you please stop playing Shape of You or I'm going to come over to your station and torture you until you finally decide to play nothing but good music all day every day? Sharon, follow that flower. One, two, three, you're out. A smooth ride. One, two, three, you're out. Percy at the fun fair. One, two, three, you're out. The green controller. One, two, three, you're out. Duncan drops a clanger. One, two, three, you're out. Toby's afternoon off. One, two, three, you're out. Seeing the sights. One, two, three, you're out. Topped off Thomas. One, two, three, you're out. Which way now? One, two, three, you're out. Thomas and the shooting star. One, two, three, you're out. Sticky toffee Thomas. One, two, three, you're out. Wolf and peace. One, two, three, you're out. Thomas and the colors. One, two, three, you're out. Duncan's bluff. One, two, three, you're out. James the second best. One, two, three, you're out. Thomas and Scarlo, he's big day out. One, two, three, you're out! I know where you're going with that line, Internet. But don't. Just... Don't. Yeah, I can believe that a giant invisible monster is roaring right behind her. Either that, or we're all crazy. Norman Price? Go to hell! He can't just leave the mail where it is and just wait until the mission is accomplished to resume his work. It has to be delivered on time. Or, for that matter, why isn't it the other way around? Why should Pat be the one to do all these special deliveries? Why not a postman from Pencaster? Oh, and don't tell me as if there isn't one. Just look at Pencaster. Loads of houses, lots of cars, a busy railway station. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, just lovely. That's just how I like my childhood. Dismantled, and then repainted into something nowhere near as good.